up, YouTube? It's your boy Banco Boxing. And I'm trying to get back on that Monday Madness tip or whatever. Um, I'll touch on briefly the Canelo Alvarez and Ryan Garcia fights. Um, as you know, both of those ended in spectacular knockouts. Now we have people saying it was fixed. I don't really like to use that word fixed because we're seeing boxers in there losing their lives. So... I don't like to say it's fixed. People have been trying to super slow-mo it down and say, you know, the punch never landed or something like that. You know, I can tell you from when I first saw the Canelo knockout, man, I probably, it looked like, you know what I'm saying? It was just round the money. So you want to say it's choreographed, so what or whatever. But all I know is that punch did hurt him. Now, whether or not it caused him to slump down like that is a different story. But, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, with the Ron Garcia fight, he knocked the boy out in the uh, first round. Who was it? Romero Dunno, I think. And they're trying to, you know, discredit him for that as well. Saying it was fixed. But, I mean, at the end of the day, man. Ryan looked ready, and he gave him what he was looking for. Just like I remember, when, uh, I forgot who that was. Terrence Crawford beat nigga. He was like, uh, "Did you get what you was looking for?" I forgot who that was. He told that to. I want to say, was it Felix Diaz? I don't know. I'm gonna go back and research that as well. If I find out who it was, I'm gonna put the link in the uh, description. So we had all that going on. Uh, we got people allegedly talking about Broner and Tank had a fight. Mind you, I was watching the interviews with Fight Hype and Ellie, and they were looking like they normal selves, you know? It's hard to say that uh, they got in a fight and ain't no footage. Think about it. Most of the time when AB didn't got in trouble, it's been footage. Everybody got their phones out, been footage. And uh, Steven Espinosa, you know, basically shut that down and said, you know, our alleged PR person would be in the ER. Well, basically, let me slow down. I get to talking ahead of myself. They basically said, Broner and Tank got a fight. Broner hit Tank and hit Tank PR guy. And so Steven Espinosa said, you know, that's that's basically not possible. How is that possible? If a professional boxer hit somebody PR dude, they'd be, they would have to go to the ER. No footage, nothing happened. So I'm going to roll with Steven Espinosa on this. They quick to, you know, demonize like people like Broner so like because they hate him. At the same time, they love to hate him because they all in his face. And all the interviews and stuff like that. They be like, when you coming back, A, B, and this and that or whatever. But when he was boxing, people say everything else. So, y'all know how the game go. They quick to do that. But when it came to Conor McGregor beating up some old man in the bar, no major media, you know, reported on that. We see how that go. It's just how the cookie crumbles. So, I really ain't paying no mind of that. I've also seen, uh, I didn't read, I read some of the tweets, but it basically had to do with uh, Tank and Devin Haney going at it. As you know, Tank moved up to 135. Devin Haney is at 135 pounds. Devin Haney was made the WBC champion because they made Lomachenko the franchise champion. And they basically got in a, a little war of words over Twitter. And um, I think it was something along the lines of Tank saying that uh, he'll hurt Devin Haney. I forgot what Devin Haney said, man. I'm going a, I'm to a try to, I'm going to go back and find the tweets or whatever. I'll post that in there as well. He said, uh, he said something, whatever the tank, the tank said, I hurt you. At least I fought somebody for my belt. And that could be a good fight eventually. Cause you know, Haney's been calling everybody out, but I will admit he's not ready for a tank either. Um, Tank's been pro longer than him. Still has more experience. Granted tank ain't really beat nobody, but who is Devin Haney beat as well? So, you got to say the same thing. It's not one of those things like, does he earn the fight? It's more so it wouldn't be good for his career. It would be similar to, uh, not as similar, but a little similar to uh, when Erickson Lupin fought uh, that Charlo at 154 pounds too fast. You don't want to rush Devin Haney career like that, fighting uh, Tank too fast. Tank got heat-seeking missiles in both hands, and he has boxing ability. The only thing we ask for is for him to fight people. So that's not something Devin wants to do. None of those, like uh, even uh, Reynoso, who was Ron Garcia and, tra and uh, Canelo's trainer, said that Devin, I mean not Devin, Ron Garcia is not ready for Tank yet. Because Tenley's still prospects. 
Like, I'll, I'll admit, Devin Haney is better than Ryan Garcia, but neither one of them can be Tank at this moment. Now, maybe a, a year or two of more fights for Devin, he stay active or something like that. Maybe him and Tank can fight at 135. Hopefully, if Tank stays there long enough to where he can make the weight and be disciplined. That's, you know, that's a good fight. Two black uh, superstars. Well, one, I want to say one star, not superstar yet, and then a, a star in the making of Devin Haney. They have a fight. That could be a legacy fight for both of them. Win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? So, the 135-pound class is uh, stacked. Tank, Haney, Garcia, Tiafimo, Loma, Richard Kome. You know, and as we know, Robert Easter's not in that class anymore. But that's how, that's what I feel about that. I think Tank watches him right now. Like I told my dad, he's going to watch Eurokis Gamboa and maybe the one, two, or maybe three rounds do that. It's been the same since. Um, I haven't made any posts really about uh, Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz. I think the fight is a waste of time. Me personally, I think Wilder's gonna win. It's not worth no eighty dollars. I don't care what you how you spend it. The bottom line is, PBC and the networks ain't really got the money no more because they did the same thing the Zone did. Uh, I think when PBC first started, what was that? When it was on NBC like four years ago, with Broner and Keith Thurman and all them. I think they headlined the first card. PBC was shelling out money, you know, because they got all those fighters with Golden Boy. And it's backfired on them because they didn't really get the profits that they should have got on that fight. I mean, on those fights. So as you see, they this is the most time we didn't have pay-per-views in a long time. I'm going to count them out. Let's see. Broner, Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia, um, Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, Sean Porter. Um, then we got... Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz. We also had Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just basically too many pay-per-views. Fight fans ain't got the money. Now, say what you want. The Zone has given me some good fights this year, man. Like, the Zone has given me some good fights. They gave me um, the Josh Taylor and um, Ivan Baranchik fight they gave me Triple G versus Dervinchenko they gave me Jose Ramirez versus uh, Maurice Hooker of course Josh Taylor and Regis Progre Canelo Jacobs and I think it might have been some more but you know what I'm saying that's $20 versus $80 times I think I did I list like let me see four or five so what's that 80 times five what 400 bucks a year to watch you know fights that ain't got the best car i think the best car been on um i think it was on either i think it's aero space and sean porter had the best card i think because some people got hurt with the keith thurman and manny pacquiao car so it didn't you know go to this as well as it should have but anyways guys man, i finally made the work man appreciate you for checking out the channel man Hey, comment, like, subscribe, share to your social media. Banco Boxing, I'm out.